Okay, so we're at the base of that mound right now. It is cold right now. This is where I'd set up. As you can see, I'm like right on a rock. And this is all mud. Bottom of that tent is all mud. I'm like shaking right now. It's, for, it's freezing. I need to warm up a little bit. But, uh, I have you can see, kind of, that's where I fell in around there. The mud. So, this is all bog. So, all these mounds are all pretty much bog and rock. So, not really sure I'm going to get down and, and not get wet. I put new pants on. But my boots are caked in mud right now. So that's going to be an issue. But I'm really, I'm really looking forward to overcoming this. And as you can see, there's cars coming. That's the main road. I don't think they can see me up here because the way that juts out. It's like a little hill right here. Um... So I think my plan right now is to kind of like hug this side and walk down to the road and hang it this way. I do, I'm going to put back on my yellow jacket again. Just to make it easier. So yeah, all right. If you kind of see in the background, that's the sun coming up. It's about 8.30 right now. I'm extremely overcast. Just want to do one more video before I leave here. I will definitely come back one day. I'm gonna climb this mountain range for Ridgewalk. This is so beautiful, but this is something that needs to be done in the summer, like everyone told me. <laughs> nah, this is great. Yeah, so this is gonna be a nice little challenge walking down here. But this is just beautiful. Made a little progress. That's where I was before, kind of like more up there towards that mountain. So now I'm down here. It is so, so wet, and every, everywhere I walk, it's just like I'm just praying. I'm trying to like look because you can kind of see where like it's sheep were walking because it's kind of padded down so it seems like that's a little more firm so I'm trying to I'm trying to walk that way as much as I can but dear lord it is rough this is this is uh this is quite the undertaking you know this is uh this is really a challenge so I'll update you when I get down all right I'm at the road got down I've never been so happy to see a road and walk on solid ground so now I'm gonna try to walk down to uh, man cross and uh, yeah it's about uh, like a three three mile walk so we'll see uh, I think I'm gonna miss the first bus no problem uh, there'll be another one so yeah I'll update you guys on the way So right now, I'm just walking along the road, and it really just uh, came to my mind that some people might watch this being like, you paid all that money to go to Ireland to fall in a bog and to walk on a road. Well, in some way, this has been my dream to travel. And I think this is like the best way of traveling. How many people have came to Ireland and have walked this way, the western way, <laughs> have walked this way and went and tried to go hiking or try to do something like this and seen this part of this country? You know, this is like a very really unique experience and it's something out of the ordinary, but I feel like just thus far, I've gotten to see a piece of Ireland that people don't get to see and a time of year people don't get to see. 
So like that's a big part for me. Is like this is like I'm so grateful to even be experiencing this country during this weather and this time. Because it's just it's pure beauty, but it's a unique beauty that is very unique to this area in this time of year. It's nine in the morning. It's about 902, 910 right now. And all I can think about is I earned a nice pint in a pub when I get when I get to Clifton. Some nice fish and chips and a pint after I get my hotel. I'm not even a drinker at all. But God boy, that does that sound good right now. Something that was on my mind last night. Um, I'm still really, really uh, jet lagged. I mean, it's only my second day here and so much has happened, but um, I couldn't fall asleep. I went to sleep at seven o'clock here. So I took like a nap pretty much for like two hours. And I woke up and I just laid in my tent, like looked around, got out a couple of times and I was creeped out. Like, you know, as you can imagine, uh, being a country I've never been into before, um, sinking knee deep in some mud. It's, uh, very daunting. You know, it's, it's kind of like it makes you want to quit. That's all I can think about. I was like, wow, man, I, I just want to, like, I messed up. I want to go to town, get a taxi. Go to town, get a taxi, and get out of here. Well, I'm not sure if that was really an option, but my mind said so. And then I did have some data, so I opened up uh, Discord and talked to my friends, and that really, uh, that really cheered me up. So thank you, Nick and Dylan, and Isabel, being on Discord. I could talk to you all because <laughs> it did it brought my spirits up so much and maybe like chill out because I was just sitting in my tent like panicking like damn dude yeah get out of here but nonetheless just wanted to share that so you have a little aspect of the mental because this is this is hard to do mentally you know because <laughs> I don't even really know where I am. I know on map where I am, but it's completely different trying to walk it. So, uh. well, made to Clifton or Mom Cross, and made to Mom Cross, and. Uh, Whew, I think I missed the bus by like five minutes. So looks like I'm gonna have to wait another hour. I'm gonna walk into town, see if there's anything to see or drink. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll come along for the journey. Wow. I mean, look at that, like that's where I came from. That's crazy. Just walked across this, the railway station. It's pretty cool looking. Here's a town, it's just like a petrol station and maybe like a church or something. I think it's an Airbnb or a uh, hotel of some sorts here. So I'm gonna walk up and see what's up. Made into town and there seems to be a bus stop here. Uh, definitely getting some looks. <laughs> uh, I don't think people see foreigners all too often. Or especially at this time, some random person walking up with a book bag and uh, long hair. So, see a bunch of people waiting, I'll get on the bus. So that was the bus going to uh, 
Galway, which I'll be here tomorrow. So I walked by this. This is Peacock's uh, Hotel Closed to the Public. I think there might be some food here, so I'm gonna try to eat. Um, Cause the guy said the bus won't come for another hour. So yeah, let's see what I can find. <laughs> it fell off the tripod, but okay. Wow, so a lot just happened. Um, I just got a hotel in Clifton. And um, that hotel I walked into, I thought there was gonna be food. Turns out they shut it down just for Ukrainian refugees. So very few people spoke English, it was all Ukrainian refugees. And they were as shocked to see me as I was to see them. Um, so I talked with a bunch of people there and I got uh, the contact some of them. I'm gonna try to have a drink with one of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I can't, it's, I really can't even believe what just happened. You know, I walked in this town, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna do some laundry and do a walk around the town. Uh, so I'll check in later, but wow, whew. It's been a day. Wow. This is one beautiful church. Uh, you can see, there you go. Wow, just look at the architecture. It's crazy to think that this was all built by hand. You know, like how old this church is. Wow, look at these graves. So far, it's my second day. It's my second graveyard I've been to. I was waiting, sorry if you can't hear me. This is just beautiful, beautiful church. It's funny, the lobby's, <laughs> this is like my first time trying to like vlog or anything. And it's like, I don't even know what to say sometimes. So I feel like I just babble like an idiot. But also, oh wow, beautiful, look at that. Wow. The man told me that there is a castle on this road, so I'm really excited to see that. Here's another view right here. Wow. This is a hotel next to the castle. I just talked to somebody, so the castle is up and up a mile on the left. But these views, this is such a beautiful town. And a lot of people here in Ireland have been so, so friendly and receptive and giving me a lot of recommendations on things to see. Hopefully uh, at the pub later, I'll get some good stories. Seems like there's a monument here, but seems to be closed. Hmm. Founder of Clifton, 1785 to 1839. I, I assume this town was a lot older. Maybe it was just a settlement. Wow. The greens here are just excellent. I've never seen very, very few greens like this. Okay. Just uh, just dropped my clothes off at a laundromat to get them clean. Got to pick them up at four, and now take a little walk down. This is in Clifton, some kind of like sky road they call it. And they said there's a castle on the road, so that'll be really cool to see. Um, this is a really good town. I'll show you more later on when I walk back. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful area. Always like. Like all these like small houses. And 
something I've learned about Ireland is that there is no sidewalks in a lot of these towns and people just I guess they're just used to it that's that's my only thing I'm, I'm assuming because like in America they'd be honking at you or whatever and going the way you're in the road but it seems like everyone just kind of does it you have beautiful cobblestone so this is someone's house but imagine living right next to this I mean, as far as I know, that might be for sheep, but golly, it is beautiful. So one of the things I've been thinking about is like how a lot of this area reminds me of like Northwest New Jersey, which actually have a bunch of Irish names and settlers, original settlers there. And like a lot of the buildings kind of mimic the Irish uh, architecture a little bit. So that's a very interesting thing. Even some of the cities remind me of the towns I've been to in Ireland or been to in Northwest New Jersey. So it's interesting to see like how when settlers come from other places, they want to keep the same thing. They want to go to the same places. Hey man. Um, I went to Edinburgh, Pennsylvania and they, that's what they said. They called it Edinburgh because when the Scottish went there, it reminded, me, it reminded them so much of their hometown they named after it so that's a very like that's interesting now coming here and seeing this a lot of places in, in uh, new jersey and america have irish named towns and the architecture is so similar it's, it's it really is crazy this is cool there seems to be like paddocks up there and look at that What's up, fellas? Yeah, maybe that is for their sheep or animals. Wow. Golly. Now, I'm not sure if that's the castle or just someone's house, but we're gonna check it out. It does seem to be the castle. However you say that. And someone lives right next to it. Wow. Here's why I'm a little confused because the castle is that way. But I didn't see any roads over there. And that doesn't look like that would be it. So I'm just going to walk down here and see what's up. Hopefully the good Irish people don't mind. To see this in person is just breathtaking. Oh, it's crazy. There's people on this who just live next to all this. It almost looks like the uh, the Windows XP screen.
seems to be some kind of stone monument. Wow. Some more sheep. Looks like someone's building a new barn here. Looks right over the ocean. Oh, oh come on, man. Damn. Wow. Looking right over. Beautiful. Look at this beautiful castle. Nice. It's very, very muddy. Something I've realized about Ireland is I guess since it rains a lot, there's just mud everywhere. It's just magic. Wow. This is like a real life prince's bride. And I'm a bride. <laughs> wow, I'm just, I'm really thankful to even have this experience. This is crazy. And 
something I keep thinking about is like the people here who live here, this is their life. They live right next to this. Like how much do they appreciate it or take it for granted, you know? Because I know where I live sometimes I take it for granted. But I don't live next to a, to a castle. It seems to be some. <laughs> this is like everything I've ever dreamed about. It kind of feels like a vampire is about to come out or like a knight or something and challenge me. This is. Ooh. Wow. I just keep saying, wow, this is kind of mind blowing because nothing in America is like this old. You know, I guess this is where, like, wow. Yeah, like. You know, kids where I come from, they have, like, make out point or, you know, whatever. They go, like, to the end of the road and smoke weed or whatever. But, like, I guess this is where they do it in a castle. Golly. I'm really amazed I haven't seen any uh, any girls here taking Tinder pics or something. Like, because this is like prime material. Throw a castle in the back. Damn, dude. You know what I mean? This is Instagram Central. Walked in here, it's like a courtyard. I'm not really sure where that road leads, but we'll follow it. It seems like some good old boys came back here and uh, rode this bad boy out. Took the four wheelers back here. Oh, God. Oh, there's another, another Mud Central. Cool. I love how it like, overgrows like that. That's awesome. Yeah, I want to go back in that building, but the mud's too bad. Oh. Nice. Sounds like a good old adventure. Yeah, it's too muddy. That's that's beautiful. Great masonry work. All right, see where this leads. Oh, no way. Are these, oh dude, clovers. Oh, awesome. Wow. Oh, I guess it's true, they do have clovers here. 